Mocky Rom used to be one of the best drums when there was Cyanogen mod. Well, at that time, Lineage OS did not even born yet. So, the Mocky Rom, how is that holding up right now in the Redmi Note 5 Pro? I mean, for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And how is the latest build? And this is the 21st June 2019 build of the Mocky Rom for the Redmi Note 5 Pro here. So hey, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another video and let me show the Mocky ROM latest build on this device. So if you go into the Android version, here you will see the Android version is 9 of course and the build date you can see it from here 21st June 2019 and the security patch is latest June 5th 2019 and the stock kernel is the Perf Plus kernel and here is the build number. And if you go back and if you go into system and advanced, you can find some customizations over here in this ROM. And if you go into Mocky Center, here you will find the updater, the OT updater of course, yes it has that because since it's a official ROM, so it just shows ads and stuff sometimes and over here you can just like check for updates over here but yeah it does show the ads. So yeah it has some customizations too and if you go into gestures you will find the bottom navigation gestures. So if you enable it and if you just go back like this it will go back. So the normal like gesture over here is present but this is not the edge gesture and we have the jump to camera and swipe up on home as you can see this thing works and you can swipe all the way up to get the app drawer and stuff let me just go back and we also have this swipe to take screenshot option too so you can take screenshot just like this and it does not scroll and the screenshots are like taken pretty fast so no issues whatsoever with that and if you're going to status bar we have the quick pull down option from right or left you can choose it and we have the network traffic indicator so from here you can just click disabled and it will get disabled over here and if you go to system icons we have the headset bluetooth etc icons over here and we have the clock position right center left and stuff like that and we have the am pm small or hidden you can choose it or you can choose it to be normal and inside battery status style so this is the battery icon up here this is circle so there is no android q battery style or something like that but yeah it's a normal customizations and if you go into battery percentage we have the hidden inside the icon and next to the icon customization and brightness slider auto brightness and brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar is there and it works fine as you can see let me just go back from here let me just go to buttons and here we have the buttons and layouts and you can invert the button layout that is why the back button is to the right side now so yeah it works and we have the home button double tap action and stuff like that and recent long press action inside power menu we do not have the advanced reboot but if you want to enable advanced reboot you have to enable developer options then you can like from the developer options enable the advanced reboot over here this is how the power menu looks like normally and over here we have the long press for torch option in the lock screen so that is really good that it toggles the torch in the lock screen so that is it for the customizations of the like UI and if you go into display we have the system customization like the colors and stuff and over here we have the night light option and adaptive brightness is there and live display is there so we have the color profile like this and you can even change the RGB of the screen and picture adjustment of the hue saturation intensity and contrast is there let me just go back if you go into style you can choose the styles like automatic wall by wallpaper by time of the day and you can choose it the theme to be light or dark and you can change the accent colors from here as you can see and you can change the dark mode to default like gray dark or like totally black dark like amulet dark over here and you can like go to the bottom to see the tap to sleep or double tap to sleep is there as you can see still this part double tapping to sleep is there and tap to wake functionality is there too and inside ambient display this is all the customizations you get and the wake up on plug feature you can disable it of course and you can go to the battery settings to like look at the battery and the battery life is pretty decent you can definitely get six to seven hours of screen on time without any issues over here and we also have a performance like meter you can change it to performance or balanced or however you want let me just go back and if you go into the sound settings well one disappointing thing is there is no me audio dirac over here as you can see there is no like me sound enhancer present over here but you can disable the touch sound charging sound and stuff like that and i flash this rom with micro g apps and if you want to flash this rom well let me tell you that how do you flash this rom from like any other custom rom well 
if you are still on audio firmware what you need to do is you need to flash the pi firmware and then you need to flash the pi firmware supported twrp recovery for all the roms like right now releasing you have to do that so first you flash the pi firmware how do you do that everything like regarding those installation procedure will be linked in this video on the card and i would say just follow that video instead of flashing the pixel experience rom just flash any rom like the mocky or liquid remix or even siberia then just flash the g apps just make sure the rom is based on the latest pi firmware and follow that like twrp and install that twrp recovery the new one and it looks really good the twrp recovery it looks really good right now it's really dark and blue so that is how you can flash these roms right now or based on the pi firmware and the stock launcher over here is the like launcher launcher i think yeah and you can see the gesture settings over here and we do have the double tap to sleep so as you can see right now it is working the double tap to sleep is there and it does work fine as you can see no issues whatsoever regarding the like double tap to sleep on anywhere on the home screen to the left we have the google now cards you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and nightlight and stuff is there in the quick setting panel and wi-fi 4g vault etc is working fine there is no vault icon present over here in call ui there is recording option and video calling option too and talking about the stock camera this is how the stock camera looks like pretty much snapdragon camera over here no miui camera is present but we do have the camera to api so you can install google camera apks if you want to now talking about google pay well yes google pay is not working but you can get it to work by disabling the phone and sms app permission from the google play services app but right now google pay simply does not work it just shows that the device is rooted and you are on custom os and stuff like that by default out of the box so that is how it is now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management and by the way here is the end to score of this rom So as you can see the app open up animation looks pretty good over here and it, it is really fast and of course all the app stays in memory so no issues over here regarding memory management. Only downside I would say that there are a lot lesser customizations and there are pretty much like lot more features are missing like banking apps does not work by default and the MIUI camera is simply not present over here. And there are no system UI change like font changing option and stuff like that. And there is no always unlock with fingerprint scanner of course and all those missing features. So talking about that yes this Mocky ROM is a pretty decent ROM you can flash. I'll leave the direct link for this in the description box below you do not need to worry. Just follow that instruction like guide over there to like flash this ROM and make sure you flash micro G apps with this ROM. And here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this ROM. I have to say the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fast over here. Not gonna lie that it is faster than quite a variety of ROMs over here. And as you can see, it just unlocks almost right away, right after you touch the fingerprint scanner. Pretty decent fingerprint scanner speed, I would say. So that is pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.